Hello and welcome to another video. We can subtract by adding negative number. Over on the left, we have 29 minus 38, but we can also add 29 to minus 38 and get the same result. So now we are seeing the importance of using our negative numbers to perform addition. In the last video, we showed you how to do your negative numbers. Okay, so let us do a twos complement subtraction on eight bits. So first we write down the two numbers, 29 and 38, and we convert them to binary. You can go back and watch our video on numbers conversion to get that done, or you can do it in your head. But if you can't do it in your head, you can go and see how it was done in the video in which I did conversion. So having converted your numbers now to what you want them to be in binary, you have to do a complement on the positive 38 to turn it into negative 38. So first we write down the complement by switching the zeros and the ones. And then we add a one, which is what you were taught in how to find the two's complement. So when we add our one there, we end up with negative 38 in two's complement. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take that negative 38 and we are going to add it to our positive 29 to produce our subtraction. So there it is, and there is the completed result. Now you know how to do addition because we showed you that. So all the steps of this should now be easy. If not, go back and watch the previous videos until you get it. So what have we got now? Well, it should, we look at that result and we see that it's negative because the most significant bit is a 1. Okay, this is minus 9 in 2's complement. Now, if you don't realize that that's minus 9 in 2's complement, there's a quick trick. Just write that pattern down, complement it, and add 1, and you will be back to positive 9. Let's do another 2's complement subtraction on 8 bits, but this time we're going to do one that has a positive answer. So we're, that means we're going to subtract a smaller number from a larger number. We're going to take 53 from 109. So once again, we are following our plan. We write down our numbers and we convert them to binary. Next, we find the ones complement by swapping the bits. Then we add one to get the twos complement. Then we take the two's complement and we put it under the number that we are trying to subtract it from and we add. Binary addition, but this time we have a one coming out at the top. We have an overflow or a carry beyond eight bits. What do we do with the carry? We discard it, throw it away, and our answer is shown in the two lines. We don't need that one carry. Our answer is right there before us. This is the plus 56 that we were expecting. Now let's do some one complement subtraction on eight bits. This one has a larger number. We're taking a larger number from a smaller number. We're gonna take away 103 from 35. How do we do it? Well, we start the same way. We convert the numbers to binary. Then we perform a swap to complement. But now we don't need to go any further because the one's complement is what we're going to use instead of the two's complement. So we simply take that complement and we write it down under the number we're trying to subtract it from and we add up as like so. And this time we find that we have negative 68 in one's complement. If you doubt that that's a negative 68, 
you can simply complement it again. It becomes a positive 68 and you simply add up your bit values and you will see that it is in fact 68. And the minus is indicated by the fact that the most significant bit is a 1. The most significant bit, in case you've forgotten, is the one that is on the most left-hand side of the number. Okay, let's do one more complement, one more ones complement subtraction. And this one we will do to give us a positive answer. This time we will take a smaller number from a larger number. We're going to take the 67 from the 121. And our answer should be, when we've done it correctly, 54. So what have we done? We have, in fact, converted our numbers to binary. By now you should be getting really good at this conversion. Then we complement all the zeros and ones, and we have our ones complement result. So we take our ones complement, which is negative 67, and we stick it under our positive 121, and we're trying to subtract the 67 from the 121. So we add the negative 67 to the positive 121. Make sure you get that right. You add the negative 67 to the positive 121, and it's good. But now, 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 we notice that we have a carry coming out, and we can't throw it away. We can't throw it away. We can't discard it like we did with the two's complement, okay? This is called a wrap around carry. So we take that carry and we wrap it around to the lowest bit position, the least significant bit, which is on the right, and we add it to get our final answer. And when we add that one into our final result, we get the correct... 54 that we were expecting. So let's summarize what's happening here with our ones complement and our twos complement subtraction. When we're doing a ones complement subtraction, it's going to give us positive answers if the thing that we're subtracting is less than what we're subtracting it from. And if we get a positive answer, we always have to use wrap around carry and add it in to get the proper result. On the other hand, if we're doing a twos complement subtraction, and this one will give us a positive answer because the number we're taking away is less than what we have, we always discard the carry. So you have to make sure you get this right when doing this thing. But you can always check your answers to make sure they're correct. Because if they're positive answers, you can simply uh, convert the ones and add them up to find out what it, what it is in decimal. And if it's a negative answer, you can complement it, either the ones complement way or the twos complement way, and add it up and see if you have the correct result. So just follow the plan and you should get your correct result, whether doing a ones complement or a twos complement subtraction. Thanks for watching this video, and we will see you in the next video.